All right, here we are again with more geography. This is a BuzzFeed video from a few years back. It's uh, Americans trying to label a map of Europe. And uh, I've traveled to Europe. I love I love travel, I love history. I love uh, um, exploring new places. And I like geography as well. I've always, always enjoyed it. I like history, even games and everything. So I like watching these kinds of videos and picking them apart and seeing how they do give you my thoughts and uh, hope you hope you join me for this embarrassing viewing of these people you just know you just know how it's gonna be so so let's just dive in let's let's uh, give it a shot oh no not from a few years ago from 2019 here we go uh, BuzzFeed video yes I'm scared I'm scared already today we're gonna be labeling a map of Europe. Doesn't that look like Europe? You guys remember how Russia's that really tall country, you know, <laughs> from maps? You got one right so far. If you dropped me in the middle of my hometown, I couldn't tell you where I was, where I was going. It's gonna be real bad. Hey, why couldn't you oh, give no. us a Mercator projection? This is not a map anybody's seen. You guys have been intentionally deceptive. You would have gotten it past us if you'd given us the normal map. It's not like you needed to make it more difficult. We're ignorant Americans. We weren't going to get this anyways. Oh, is that how we're gonna come across? Of like course it's how we're gonna come across. What do you think the frame of this video is? Strategy is <laughs> do the ones we know. See what I pointed out earlier. Oh, I'm glad you have one. That guy's I really tall looking. <laughs> Try to label the biggest land masses because mm. that's the most embarrassing if we miss. My whole game strategy is just get 100%. Okay, so or England, we I mean, uh, the UK, that'd be embarrassing as well. And I was given the order to change my shirt so I don't blend in over here. I mean, it might as well start with the easy ones like they said, which are typically the bigger ones are easy to see, like Russia, UK, Spain, France, Italy. You have to get Italy. Everyone knows the boot. Everyone knows the boot. All right, so let's, bad, but let's, let's see. do this. We okay. have 10 minutes on the clock. And those start. Who do you no. think will do better? <laughs> what group do you think this will do better? Water. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's safe yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. That's all probably. This is water. water. <laughs> Unless we're just like. It's not a good, not a good start if they have to outline where the where the water is, but uh. Crossing off a bunch of countries, but you know, whatever. Russia. Let's see. Cool. Let's see. Great Britain, okay, is an island. Yeah, That's an island. Well, next to Great Britain, then we probably are going with like Ireland. Ireland this year. Okay, good. I know for good. sure this is Spain. So I will do that. And I know this yes. is France. Can yes. Yes. Put France. How Father? do you pronounce it? France. What am I saying? France. 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 Yeah, we're saying the same France. thing. Yeah. I have to base this off of what good start, I remember good start. back in the day from like old queens and like kings of like Great Britain. What you going so on? I know that like they all have like incestuous France. relationships with Just like say France it. and like Germany. Where are you going with this? This all is going to make sense in a moment. We have 10 minutes. France. That's France. Okay, France. Great. So I recently did this. Pretty much the same day of recording, I did a, uh, I found a website where you could just start plotting all, every single European country and trying to do as many as you can as possible. And I think I did it in eight minutes. I got something like, I don't know, I think I got one or two wrong. Uh, two wrong, maybe, 92%. Something along those lines, I'll have to go back and look at it. But it was really fun. Um, but once again, I'm a geography nerd and I've traveled to Europe, so I hopefully do a decent job. And I watched that after the Jimmy Kimmel uh, skit of watching a few Americans really, they couldn't even name a country. So I was like, okay, inspired. Let's do this thing. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. That's Germany. Okay, Germany. Wow, yes, okay. Yes. I really feel like I'm only going and to- Belgium and Netherlands. Come on, just do okay, it right so above. I know it is. It's Portugal. All right, this is Russia. Spain, they're they're Spain, on it. I think Spain, they're, Spain. they're doing and pretty well. Portugal, All of them. Spain, <laughs> yeah. This is the United Kingdom. This is Ireland. Yes, UK, Ireland. Northern Ireland, throw it in while you're nope. at it. This is Iceland. But yes. Italy, part of me just Did wants say to stop there. These three countries, I think this is the Netherlands, this no. is Sweden, and this is Finland. Yes, I know this is Sweden. Let's kind of. <laughs> Finland's on top of it. So I think that's Finland. 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 No. No, yes, you're right. So these three uh -huh. are. It hurts. Hurts my geography self. I play lots of games where it's all about you're in your, Europe, and I love anything medieval, so I love this stuff. Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Come on, left and to right. NSF, and I always wanted this to be W, but it's not. It's Russia. So it's Norway, Sweden, Finland. I all right, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're doing like, pretty don't well. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> this is like frozen land. Like, I imagine that, like, frozen, frozen land. took place. It has got to be one of these three places. Also, we know this is Italy. That's Italy. That's an easy one. Because it's a, a nice boot. 
Here's so, see, there you go. Boot, boot. Okay, that's how we learn in America. Is the the is boot. Austria. That means Switzerland's here. Is this all Europe? Oh, no. That can't be right. That's not part yeah, of Europe. Yeah, yeah. Eastern Europe. Europe. I believe Amsterdam is here. And I forget which country Amsterdam is in, but I remember the city is here. And that, you know what country it is in, right? Amsterdam, I think, is in the Netherlands, though. Wait a minute. Oh, Cyprus. I it's mean, its own island. I think this is Cyprus. Down here, commit, right? commit. Is that? Do you have a better guess for Cyprus? I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so Cyprus is the one just to the right. That little tiny island just to the right of it, under uh, more uh, more under Turkey. If that's Greece, then this is. I can't even see what she's pointing nope, at. We're gonna come back to that. <laughs> Those small countries, though, are really hard. That small little grouping of countries by Croatia and above Greece. It's North Macedonia, I think she was pointing at. This is right above. We know that. Yeah, we'll see that. The Vatican is right in the put? Yeah, which is. What they put up there? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What'd you put? This is Switzerland. We know that. Yeah, we'll see that. The Vatican. Oh, is you know, what? I thought he was pointing to this one right here. Austria, yeah, Switzerland for sure. Austria. It, oh, yeah, Czech which, which is like here-ish, right? Right. This has got to be Denmark, right? Amsterdam's Amsterdam in Denmark. Denmark? Amsterdam. That sounds about right. That, I mean, I don't really know. I love their right? thought process as they Turkey? talk sure. about. I think it's is right, and they kind of yeah, feed yeah. off each other. Bigger is better. Sure, that's the one. All right, Ukraine it is. Germany? This is Poland. And yeah, that means Austria is underneath large. it, yes? Sound of music is what taught me that. I think this is Montenegro, <laughs> and Serbia's next to it. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, because they, they partner up for the Olympics. Them. I'd like to phone a friend. That's an interesting thing to here? remember. No, okay, okay, well, okay. Iceland. Now, Hold this, on. Yes. One of these might be Norway. I'm Which pretty Denmark sure comes. this is Norway. Oh, this can't be right. God, Slovakia, Slovenia. I'm just gonna, it's assuming it's. Yeah, decent. we're just gonna say those are pretty co uh, confusing though. <laughs> there's an Estonia oh, they're, over there. They're, they're confusing. Texas covers like. <laughs> She's not wrong either. Texas is huge. If you put that, look at a map, maybe we'll do that after this, but if you look at a map of Texas, even California, just one of the bigger states, and Alaska over. Europe, it's huge. It's 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 so big. That much. Okay, I'm gonna say this is Belgium. This is Netherlands. The Netherlands. That's what it is. Belgium. Okay, so one of these is Liechtenstein. One of these is Luxembourg. I think this Just is World War II. What happened then? I think how France get taken. That one's Denmark. Let's call that one Denmark. <laughs> Dude, this is Turkey because it borders Syria, which would be down here. Right. Yeah. So just come straight labeling. So okay. Just, where do you want Slovakia to be? I want Slovakia to be. Where do you want it to be? Here. Great. That looks great. Denmark. Slovakia. Do we, do we put Denmark down here anywhere? Denmark is here. Okay, I think it's uh, over there. Okay, let's put it up there. I trust that. So I'm gonna say one of these is right. Georgia. This is going. This is going better than I thought. See, this is kind of your more. Uh, after looking at those Jimmy Kimmel videos, this is more of your average American, um, at least who I, who I'm around. Um, you generally know where everything is, and you might second guess it, maybe correct it, maybe maybe mess it up more. But you you generally know. Um, no, no geography, and some some schools do it way better than others. One is Armenia. Croatia. Sporadic oh, here. Croatia. Let's put it here. Yeah, I think that's correct. It's kind of blurry. I'm but... not confident in how we did. We found out we got 18 <laughs> out of 49 right, which is not passing. I'm proud that we had 18 out of 40. This oh, see, these small countries right here. Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, there's there's kind of a lot that are missing. But once again, for your just average Joe, I think it's fine. I think it's way better than uh, than a lot of people would do. It's like Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia are right there. Uh, Montenegro or something like that is right there. I think they put the Vatican. Monaco should be right there. I think it's like right next to that tip in France. I think they put Cyprus as that guy, but it's Cyprus is right here, I believe. Sicily, but that's the part of Italy. Yeah, I mean, I think they did pretty well. I'm impressed because you see so many of these videos and people just get, they can't name one country, some of them, and it's really bad. So the fact that they, uh, and they could work together, so that helped as well. Water. Yes. On us, your, uh, us, us Americans love, love Europe, though, and love going to Europe and seeing Europe. That's kind of what everyone's dream is. I mean, our big, good, nice vacations are to Europe, uh, typically. We don't really go... I guess there's not many places to go around here. You can go up north to Canada, down south to Mexico. Um, 
stay in the U.S., which is fantastic as well. But Europe is kind of like our uh, the dream dream vacations. A lot of dream vacations go to Europe because of the history and the food. Honestly, really Damn. well done. So we ended up getting 23 out of 49. Woo, baby! That's pretty good. Maybe your guys at home aren't celebrating, but that's pretty darn good. That is not half, but it was really good. I think a lot of Central or Eastern Europe is just gonna be very difficult. The former USSR, I mean, those are new countries. Yeah. You gotta give us time to figure out where. <laughs> I like this guy, I like this guy. Kind of true though, that's like, the past 100 years in Europe, especially um, Eastern Europe, has been turbulent. I mean, for new countries popping up and changing and splitting and just all sorts of stuff, the past 100 years there have been pretty much forever. Forever in Europe. <laughs> always wars, always changing of borders, just weird, weird countries coming and going. So uh, and then the Cold War, which is fairly recent um, as far as history goes. So... I mean, he's he's pretty funny, but he's he's correct. Where those things are, give us a hundred years. How you really learn something is if you're actually like visiting there and can actually like get to yes. experience it. Yes, and that's it. what I did, and so I loved having it. That so that, that helped a lot. Cement a memory, in. I'm just going off what I've seen on maps and history books. Because we're in the states, we learn the states and the regions in America a lot more. If you're in Europe, you probably learn because it's like you travel to them a lot more. Love to see all your beautiful countries, uh, Europeans. Uh, and learn the names of them. Yeah, overall, not bad at all. I mean, I guess, what is it, 36 and 46 or something like that percent? Not good at all in the grand scheme of things, but uh, much better than a lot of the videos you do see. So, uh, six minutes of Europeans having a heart attack? Yeah, I could only imagine. I could only imagine. Time to turn the Balkans into a continent. Yes. Yeah, see, Montenegro's the... But you don't know... Yeah, Romania, I feel like, is an easy one. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Those are new countries, literally all older, older than the U.S. I think they change a lot. I think they, the past hundred years, they've changed a lot. I want to see this, but of uh, U.S. states, just to see how Americans do with their own U.S. states. Um, I'm going to do that pretty soon. We'll have the test and see how I do. So that should be fun. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. I love these kinds of videos, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.